All right, we got the field cultivator up here at the shop now. Of course, I got it full of dirt and grass because I was playing with it on the way up here. Uh, we only have to do too much. Some of the shovels are wore out, but we ain't doing a whole lot, so I think they'll be fine. I just got to put a couple of these back on that I took off. I was trying to figure out something different that didn't work, so we're going to throw those back on, check the air in them tires, and probably see if we can get something feel cultivated. Alright, so we're going to get this field cultivator put back together real quick. It's not really tore apart. I just got to put three of the shanks back on it. Uh, the Harrell's pretty beat up on it. I'm not even going to mess with it. This thing's 40 years old. And it does the job, kind of. I'm not a big fan of it. It plugs up a lot. I feel like the shovels and uh, shanks are too close together. But it's what we have for now. And it works, like I said, somewhat. And the uh, Harrow's pretty beat up. So I'm going to get this thrown back together real fast. And then probably be tomorrow, I'll hop out and run over that 70 acres. I just dissed it up and uh, get this leveled out. The reason I'm gonna run a field cultivator over it after I dissed it is that disc threw up some pretty big chunks and I don't think we're gonna be able to plant through that. So I run this cultivator across it, kind of level it out, break up some of them chunks, and then that way the planter won't have a single issue going through it. We're going to swap the handles on my fuel pump real quick so I don't have to babysit that no more. I got a automatic kickoff one. And then uh, I'll go top the fuel off in the tractor, and I'm going to hop on it and see what I can get done fuel cultivating some of this. All right, out with the old and with the new. It'll be a lot nicer now. I made a few passes and just like I thought these two shovels here like to plug up so I took the shank back off I did the same thing on the other side and this Harrell it's beat to all get out and it was causing more damage than anything it was just plugging up because everything's broke on it so I took it off see how that works out isn't really working up as good as I was hoping this cultivator kind of sucks it's it's not I don't know it's a bad design I'm gonna try to tilt that back a little bit get these back shanks in the ground a little harder maybe that'll help it out
guess I forgot to make an ending to that video. So I'm down here at Atlanta, Georgia, getting unloaded, editing it, and uh, realized there was no ending to it. So basically what I did is I didn't feel cultivate that whole 70 acres because half of that's going to go into soybeans. So I just did about 20, I think it's about 25 acres, possibly 28. And then we got seven acres below the hill and nine acres next to that. That's all, that whole half will go into corn. And then there's 13 or 14 acres up the road that's gonna go into corn. And then uh, probably about 20, 25 acres across the road over at my brother's place, also gonna go into corn. Most of all that we're gonna just spray, do a burn down on it and just no-till it. I think that's gonna be the best bet. Uh, it's pretty dark black dirt. That's the end of the video. I should have a couple more coming out here pretty soon. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like what you see.